pum but a bum pum pum oh wait no that's that's i think that's copywritten but ladies and gentlemen what is going on my name is blitzwinger and today we're doing something very very epic as we build our last custom before the big showcase for ben 10 now of course i know a lot of you guys have been already asking me like hey blitz after you're done this customs could you possibly do more aliens since there's still a bunch that you haven't finished that's up to you guys like i always say once i post that customs showcase if that customs video does really well, then we will start a brand new batch of aliens that we will be creating. Last time we completed way big, which still I will probably say is my favorite design. But who knows? Maybe that will be blown out of the water here today with our last alien design as we go on ahead and try to put together the one, the only, the character known as Water Hazard. This was suggested by Unboxed Avenue, which... Um, I guess, or actually a few people were actually suggesting William Pulfer Melville says, or Overflow. So basically, the reason why I chose this one is uh, specifically because a lot of people were saying that we haven't chosen a water type character. And this was one of the water based aliens. So that's exactly what we will be doing today. Now, of course, expect the showcase video to probably go live either tomorrow or the day after. So stay tuned for that epic showcase of the brand new designs that we've put together. I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. But in the meantime, guys, don't forget the best way to show support to the channel is by simply hitting that like button down below. I always do appreciate you guys' support with that. Thank you so, so very much for the support so far on the series. You guys have been absolutely tremendous with your uh, support for this particular series. So again, if you guys could just take a quick moment to hit that like button, I would really, really appreciate that a ton. So with that in mind, here we go. So overflow, or sorry, water hazard, not overflow, my bad. Uh, that's the character that we're going to be building today. I guess we could have maybe built overflow as well, which now that I see that design, it's actually kind of cool looking too. But hey, who knows? Maybe that'll be in the next series. Regardless, we're focused on water hazards since that, that comment got the most amount of likes. So let's get to work and uh, let's get to building this guy here today. So um, I guess personality wise, we're good to go there. Abilities, we will need to set um, the ability for... I think he can only double jump, I would imagine so at least. I don't think I've used... I don't think I've used that one, um, or at least not often. So um, that should be pretty good. I also think that this character might actually be kind of cool to have glide ability, but since there's only one way to glide, if there's a way to do it so that he would like creating water as he's gliding, that would have looked really cool. But unfortunately, it's not a feature. So uh, we don't need the scaling ability, which is good. Then for the blasts or bolts, sorry, we need something that looks like a water. Ooh. Okay, so I think the best looking is either this or honestly that. But I feel like this one almost looks like more like ice. So we'll go with this. So that'll be our water blast. And then for the hold, we don't have anything equipped, which is good. But we will do a hold effect here. We'll deactivate that. And then we'll go on ahead and do the hold laser beam. Activate. Oh, okay, that actually looks perfect like water. Uh, so we're going to select ice, I guess, since there is no option for water beam. And then let's see which color that looks more like ice. Okay, that looks like water. As does that. And as does that. I think that looks the best, though. So that's the one we're going to go with. And we're going to go with both hands, so it kind of looks a lot more powerful. All right, sweet. So we've got our abilities all set up, which is fantastic. And now we can get to work on the actual character. So like we usually do, let's start with the things that are easy. Like, for example, the hands. They are basically kind of gray-ish. So sort of like that. He does have sort of like... The fingers are almost like kind of like claws. Uh, but they're not quite claws. So I, I don't feel like we need to include the claws in this one. But who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll adjust it as we go on. Who knows? All right. Uh, so we've got that figured out. I guess maybe the arms would be another section that we could probably complete here. So we need red gauntlets and then the rest of the arm has to be black. So let's look through this. Um, I mean, this sort of fits the bill. The problem with this one is the patch there on the um, shoulder kind of looks lame. So it doesn't really work there. But let's see if there's anything better. 
Uh, if there is anything that's red as a gauntlet, that would look cool. And that would be great, of course, for us. Uh, I don't think there is anything... Yeah, okay. So, let's see. So, what we could do here... Okay, we have... We, well, what about this, I wonder? Oh, okay, the front recolors on that, yeah? Hmm, yeah, that's not great. Uh, do, 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 do. We could use this, I guess, right? Oh, no. Because it's the white there. It doesn't color properly. Okay, well, that doesn't leave us with very many options. We have to go with something along these lines. So we'll go with the red look there. Correct? Now, it is odd because, honestly, it's almost like... It is a red, but it's not quite like a super saturated. I'm almost thinking maybe to go with this one just to make him look a little bit different and more unique. Because when I look at the pictures, uh, when I Googled like literally right next to him right now, right before this, I Googled also Overflow and Overflow has a much brighter red. So because of that, by comparison, I feel like it'd be cooler if we maintain kind of a darker red for... Um, What's his face? Uh, water hazard. And then down the line, maybe if we do build Overflow, he could be the brighter uh, of the two. So I think that'll be a nice balance. Okay. So we've got that settled. Now, okay, this is going to be tough because he does have this giant, like almost like, I guess he's supposed to be kind of like a crab water hazard because he's got this like shell of armor. Uh, he also has a hood. I don't know how we're going to do that part. That's going to be difficult. I wish you could, like, recolor something like this, because that would actually probably work pretty well. Like the um, giant shoulder pads. Unfortunately, they don't have any other, like, shoulder pad designs that we could even use. I guess this one is kind of a shoulder pad design, but again, problem with it is can't recolor it. So, because of that, it's sort of useless to us, you know? Since there's not much we could do about it. Which... Is kind of a bummer, honestly. Like, I wish they would give you the option to be able to, like, you know, adjust some things at least. I guess I could use this, sort of. But, again, this is a lot more of an armor than what we need. Because we would need, ideally, this piece without the dome. Like, if we could just take that armor plate and then make it red, that would look really, really cool here. Problem is, we don't have that option. So, because of that, we're kind of stuck. I'm trying to think how we could possibly at least somewhat mimic it. I'm guessing that our best take would be maybe this. But what I'm curious about is would it let me still have a hood on the character? Because that would be a crucial element of this. Yeah, it removes that. <sighs> okay. Well, that's a problem. That is quite a problem. Maybe this one? Nope, it removes that, right? Okay. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Is there anything that looks like a hood that we could use while keeping that? Uh, nope, that won't work. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, this is proving to be a lot more difficult than expected. Will it let us do, let's say, this and shoulder pads? I'm curious. If let's say we did this. Oh, sorry. Sort of like that, right? And then will it let me have shoulder pads as well? Please. Okay, maybe it won't let us probably have the big ones, but maybe these ones? Oh, that works. Will it let us place these on? No, it will not. Darn it. I was hoping there was some way of, like, tricking it. And this thing is all going to be one colored, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah. That stinks. Because, again, something like this could honestly have worked. I mean, it doesn't look awful. Which I know is a pretty low bar, but <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Maybe we could make this work. 
It would make him look very unique and different, that's for sure. We would need... What would we need to adjust? How would we make the face work, though? Okay, let, let me just think for a second. If we change the face to be red... Okay, probably need to make it a bit of a brighter red. All right. Then change this to be gray, because he does have a little bit of gray in the design. And then the eyes... Okay. I, I'm thinking we need to probably use the Jon Stewart eyes for this. Because they, they glow, so they will pop a bit more. So sort of like that. But it does look more like proper eyebrows and stuff. So I don't know if it looks all that great. You know what I'd like to see? Which face I'd like to see how it looks? Is the, um, the trench creature, remember? Okay, well, that just looks kind of goofy. But <laughs> I, I just thought it would look cool. I guess I was mistaken. It was very, very much mistaken about that. Um, darn it. There's only like a handful of things we can't even use. is because there's really not a lot of options with the glowing green eyes. There's like very few character models that fit that look. So... Okay, let me think here. Let me think. How could we get around this? Maybe we could... If we did this, let's see. Okay, wait. Now... Stay with me for a second. Wait. Don't freak out. I know you want to freak out. Calm down. So that'll give us the gray. Then we would use this to do the goggles. Or these, I guess. Okay. Then we'll do this with gray. Or actually, maybe red. Sort of like that. Eye shadow. I don't think that matters because I don't think you can even see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see the actual eyeshadowing. So, sort of like that. You know what? I'm going to go with it. Because I think that it'll give us a unique look for the character and something completely different. Plus, we do get the uh, the Hazard logo kind of looks like the Ben 10 logo. So, it sort of works in that sense. Now, the torso. And again, it's tough to judge it right now because we haven't completed the full look. So, once we're done, that's when I feel like we'll get a clear, you know, like, oh, okay, does that look awful? Yes or no? Kind of uh, moment. So I'm thinking, I'm almost thinking, let's see, what it would look like if we pick this as sort of the torso. Yeah, it doesn't look all that great, now does it? Now what about that? Also not great. What about that? Hmm, interesting. Not terrible. I feel like we get a little bit of the gray from the belt. So that definitely is a contender. Because we're trying to basically bring in black and gray into the design, which is complicated because obviously those are kind of very um, dull colors. So it's not easy to find something that's going to be black and gray for the majority of it, you know? That's green, so that's not going to work. Okay. That's not bad, but... Not quite what we're looking for. I guess also I just thought of something. I could, in theory, use uh, one of the preset ones and maybe do it. Um, let me think. Let me think. How would we do it? Maybe. I mean, it could be just simple as something like. Wait, what are we colors on that? There we go. Something as simple as that. But I feel like that really takes a lot out of the design. Um, we could, we could do something maybe, nope, black and red like this, or I could actually bring the gray there. Ooh, now that looks pretty clean because then we get the gray design and then, oh, if we could make that. Okay, wait, 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 this might work. If if there's a way... Can we make this red? Yes! Perfect. Look at that! That's gonna look cool. So now we just need to figure out the legs... For this guy. Which are mostly gonna be red. A little bit of black highlights throughout, but mostly red. Let me, let me scroll all the way up first, and then we'll go through this. So... Hmm. So this would have looked cool if it was a complete recolor. 
Because I do want to try to bring in those, like, dots that the character has. So, that's something I'm looking out for. Is to see if we can find something remotely similar to that. And that's alright, but the green highlights there doesn't really look all that great. Um, do, 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 do. I wonder what that would look like, honestly. Nope, not great. Not great at all. Okay, we keep on keeping on here. So, let's see. Again, looking for anything that has sort of like diamond, almost like scale type shapes. Uh, looks cool, but again, wrong colors. Uh, do, 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 do. I wonder, I wonder if there's anything we're going to be able to find that sort of fits this design. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm, what about this? Ooh. Now that looks kind of cool because it gives us some sort of like a breakup pattern. So I think that does look cool. What about this? Nope. Um, what about the trench creature? Nope, that just looks terrifying. Um, oh, man. Okay. Oh, what about that? Now, oh, but the boots are not black. Darn it. That looks really cool, actually, because of the lines there. Like, it kind of looks neat, but it's not as accurate as we'd want it to be. This looks, again, cool, but... Not accurate due to the fact that the boots are black and not red. Man, oh man. This is just proving to be a lot tougher than I thought. Okay, let's keep looking through here. What could we do? Man, this is tough. It's almost like this is the toughest aspect of this character is figuring this out. Okay, that's all right. But again, it looks very mechanical. It's supposed to be a biological type creature, right? So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I did not think that this would be the toughest, the toughest aspect of this character is figuring out the leg design, but I guess it is. I'm just trying to find something that will at least remotely be similar, and that's just proving a lot easier said than done. Man, oh man, we need like one uniform color too, which that that's a very difficult aspect of this. What about this with the recolor? Oh, it still keeps the white on there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. What recolors on this? The top part, of course. Wow. Okay, we've scrolled through everything. So that's a problem. Oh, this one has the double. So what would this look like if I went dark red and maybe bright red? It's not terrible. Or maybe black for the highlights. This actually looks kind of cool. But again, you get the black boots, which is not what we want. Because ideally, maybe we would even want a little bit of brown or gray on the boots. Because he has, like, these spikes uh, around the legs. So, like, that would have worked nice. But this, not so much. Hmm. That looks cool again, but not really what we're looking for. I wonder what this would look like. Ah, uh, nope. I wish there was two tones for that one. That would have looked cool. Uh, oh man. Okay, I'm I'm seriously at a loss for words right now. I I don't know which which one would work here. This is insane, man. Okay, I'm thinking maybe this one. Cause at least we kind of get the separation of the kneecaps and everything like that. So it sort of works in that sense. Man, I knew this one was going to be tough as soon as I googled a picture of this design because I was like, yikes. But I did not expect this. I, I feel like for whatever reason, I think this one looks the coolest. But, man, oh man. Maybe we go with this. That way we keep the red. We kind of have spikes with the lines and everything. You know, but you don't get the the black dots and everything like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Why must this be so difficult? Oh, what about this? Yeah. All right. I think, honestly, I think the the best result is either this or the um, Volco. I think that looks clean, too. But generally speaking, 
I think that this one gives us the best uh, look overall. So there we go. Now, of course, I will say that we could have gone another way with the face if we went with, like I showed before, if we went with, let's say, this design, um, the dark red, and then we would go with, um, we need shoulder pad. Oh, but then the torso would have to be completely different. Because we would have to figure out a way to make the torso black, red, and green. It, it would be... I don't think there's anything even remotely similar. And you know what? Honestly, it's almost like for the sake of originality and for the sake of using something that we have not tried before at all, this looks cool. Like, in terms of, like, it just looks different. And it still kind of sort of gives us that look that we were going for. So for that, I like it. All right. So let's go on ahead and enter the name of Water Hazard. I hope there's enough letters here there should be and there indeed are and let's take a look at this character outside let's see what we've come up with oh whoa 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 whoa! i forgot to remove the claws maybe that's a sign should we give him the claw hands would he look cooler i think we probably should honestly i think he probably would look cooler so let's just recolor them to match the hands so that was i think we went with like this gray? I, I can't see it. That's the problem. I think it was this gray, though. Let's take a look at the character. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So, that is going to be our design of the one and only Water Hazard. Like I said at the top of this, guys, you can expect a showcase video either tomorrow or the day after, which will feature all of our new designs, including Ben 1000, including Water Hazard, including Waybag in the back there. So, you're going to be seeing all of these characters showcased over the course of the next day or two, all in one epic, massive video showcase for all of our new designs. You know what? Honestly, in the overworld, this design looks fantastic. I really, really am pleasantly surprised with what we managed to come up with. I think that we actually did manage to go on ahead and put together a pretty sweet looking character that was not easy to build just because it's such a unique looking character. It's really, really tough to figure out how do you build a character like that in Lego form. But you know what? All things considered, I genuinely think we did a pretty excellent job with this one. And he turned out quite cool let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of course if you're going to build your own take on this character go on ahead and share that using either twitter or instagram at blitzwinger thank you guys so very much for watching today's video i hope to see you guys here on the next one peace out cheerleaders alligators